Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati is a quintessential figure for the Catholic Church because he gave up all of his material wealth to aid the poor. His prayer life was central to his spirituality, and he viewed prayer as the most efficient means to obtain from God the graces which we need. His spirituality was characterized by his consciousness that everything was a gift from God, even his beloved mountains. His writing speeches and letters had a great deal to do with the importance of charity and unity. Pier Giorgio Frassati was born on April 6, 1901 in Turin, Italy, to a wealthy and prominent family. His family owned the newspaper La Stampa, and his father was also involved in politics. Although he was only an average student, he was known for his devotion and piety by his peers. He also loved to climb mountains in his free time. He was active and involved in numerous organizations, including Catholic youth and student groups, the Apostleship of Prayer, Catholic Action, and he was a Third Order Dominican. Within each of these organizations, Pierre fulfilled all duties of membership. He also helped establish a newspaper called Memento, which principles were based on Pope Leo XIII's encyclical called Rerum Novarum. Pier Giorgio Frassati openly and strongly conveyed his beliefs, one of them being that he was anti-fascist. When he participated in a church-organized demonstration in Rome against fascism, he was beaten and arrested by the police. Although he could have received special treatment due to his father's position, he decided to stay with his friends. There was even a time when a group of fascists broke into his home to attack him and his father, but Frasati beat them off and chased them down the street. Frasati demonstrated his concern for the poor from a young age. When he was just a boy, he answered the door to a begging mother whose son was shoeless. His selfless reaction was to remove his own shoes and give them to the son. Another time, Frasati's father refused to help a man who had come to the door because he was drunk. So Pierre sobbed to his mother, who then told him to find the man and bring him back for something to eat. As he grew up, he continued to do everything he could to aid the poor. He donated most of his money to people he saw as more needy than him. He often gained, gave his train fare to the poor, so he would have to either run home or ride in third class. Frasati's father then gave him a choice for his graduation present. He could either receive a car or a sizable fund. Frasati then chose the fund so that he could give it to the poor. He said, Prayer is the noble supplication which we lift up to the throne of the Most High. It is the most efficient means to obtain from God the graces which we need. He desired that his friends stay united through prayer. When writing to a friend, he wrote, I would like for us to pledge a pact that knows no earthly boundaries or temporal limits, union and prayer. He was often found praying at the foot of his bed, and he always had a rosary in his hand. He even had rosaries made for his friends. One of the prayers written for Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati is called the prayer for the courage to be great. It goes, Heavenly Father, give me the courage to strive for the highest goals, to flee every temptation, to be mediocre. Enable me to aspire to greatness, as Pierre Giorgio did, and to open my heart with joy to your call to holiness. Free me from the fear of failure. I want to be Lord, firmly and forever united to you. Grant me the graces I ask you through Pier Giorgio's intercession by the merit of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For Saudi's outlook on life is reflective of his strong relationship with God. He believed that God gives us health so that we may serve the sick. He was also very aware that Everything was a gift from God. He said, Every day my love for the mountains grows more and more. If my studies permitted, I'd spend whole days in the mountains contemplating the Creator's greatness in the pure air. He also stated, You ask me whether I am in good spirits. How could I not be, so long as my trust in God gives me strength? We must always be cheerful. Sadness should be banished from all Christian souls. For suffering is far different being from sadness, which is the worst disease of all. It is almost always caused by lack of faith. But the purpose for which we have been created shows us the path along which we should go, perhaps strewn with many thorns, but not a sad path. Even in the midst of intense suffering, it is one of joy. This shows for Sadi's complete faith in God and willingness to give himself to God. Pier Giorgio Frassati's notes for his speech on the charity made to the Federation of Italian Catholic Students said, Every one of you knows that the foundation of our religion is charity. Without it, all our religion would crumble because we would not truly be Catholics as long as we did not carry out or rather shape our whole life 
by the two commandments in which the essence of the Catholic faith lies, to love God with all our strength and to love our neighbors as ourselves. He also stated that by drawing closer to the poor, little by little, we become their confidants and counselors in the worst moments of this earthly pilgrimage. We can give them the comforting words of faith, and often we succeed, not by our own merit, in putting on the right road people who have strayed without meaning to. Pier Giorgio Frassati died on July 4th, 1925, of poliomyelitis at the young age of 24. Thousands of mourners filled the streets for his funeral, and poor people petitioned the Archbishop of Turin to begin the cause for canonization. The process for canonization opened in 1932, and he was beatified on May 20th, 1990, by Pope John Paul II. Pope John Paul II called him the man of eight beatitudes because his life beautifully reflected each of the beatitudes his feast day is now july 4th his final words were may i breathe forth my soul in peace with you pierre giorgio Frassati lived his life serving others and showing the importance in charity and unity his life shows catholics how important it is to aid the poor and those in need as well as not focus on earthly possessions i have learned a lot from blessed pierre giorgio Frassati's social actions writings and prayer life and i will continue to look up to him